feeling hungry? Would you eat a steak grown in a laboratory? Would you take a bite of a cheeseburger made by a scientist? Technology startups and scientists are placing big bets on lab-grown meats. Currently, livestock is responsible for around 15% of the global greenhouse gas emissions. We could see this number rise in the coming decades. According to the World Economic Forum, the world population is expected to be close to 10 billion by 2050. That is a lot of mouths to feed. This population boom and rising incomes will cause demand for meat products to rise by as much as 88%. To feed the world's growing demand for meat, we already use around 27% of the world's arable land to raise livestock. We need to find a more sustainable way of satiating this rising demand. One path to the future of sustainable eating could start with lab-grown meats. Not to be confused with plant-based meat alternatives, lab-grown meats are cultured in the lab using cells which were originally derived from live animals. In theory, this cultured meat would use fewer of the planet's resources, and no animals need to be slaughtered in the process. Cultured meat might become a regular part of our diets in the coming years, making its way onto the dinner table and appearing in some of our favorite restaurants. Nonetheless, the prospect of this meat 2.0 raises a lot of complex social, ethical, and technical questions. And, simply put, some people find the idea of eating meat from a lab weird. So what is lab-grown meat, and how is it made? First, a technician takes cells from a live animal. These cells are grown up in a lab to permanently establish a culture called a cell line. Once a good cell line has been established, a sample is introduced into a bioreactor. This is essentially a culture medium which contains all the materials the cells need to grow. The cells in the bioreactor grow and multiply exponentially and are then harvested. Once harvested, the meat cells can be formed into any number of unstructured items, from patties to sausages. In the future, it may be possible to use technologies such as 3D printing and edible scaffolds to create particular cuts of meat, like chicken legs and T-bone steak. However, this is likely to be much more difficult than producing ground meat. The technology's first public proof of concept appeared in 2013 in the Netherlands. Partially funded by Google co-founder Sergey Brin, Dr. Mark Post and his researchers at the University of Maastricht spent a little over $300,000 creating the world's first cultured meat hamburger. It was described as like an animal protein cake. The burger was even taste-tested live on television and got positive reviews in general. However, the lab-grown burger lacked one central element, fat. In the meat that we eat every day, there are different types of muscles, connected tissues, lipids, bones, and fat that give flavor and texture to the food. To this day, one of the biggest challenges with lab-grown meat is giving them the flavors and textures that you might expect from biting into a steak or burger. However, this has not stopped entrepreneurs and scientists from trying. Today, startup companies are working to bring lab-grown beef, chicken, and even fish to dinner tables around the world. Aside from the regulatory hurdles, these startups need to find a way to scale up cultured meat while reducing costs. Moreover, there are other technological challenges. These include developing better cell lines and cheaper culture media, reducing the time it takes for the cells to grow, and scaling up what are now small-scale operations. They will also need to find an alternative to the use of fetal bovine serum which is derived from cow fetuses and is added to culture media. The use of the serum is a major barrier for an industry that is trying to take animals out of the equation. The cultured meat also needs to taste good or be close enough to more traditional dishes that the public won't mind that it comes from a lab. 
Until cell-based meat makes the leap from the lab to your dinner table, there are some delicious plant-based meat options you can consider that are gaining traction. Companies like Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods offer customers meat-free options made from water, soy protein, coconut, sunflower oil, and natural flavorings. Some argue that the current appeal and adoption of plant-based meats by major restaurants could be a precursor to the coming age of cultured meat dishes. 